Hi friends, welcome to Amsal. So today it is the 91st episode in the biology series. So today we are going to discuss about one thing known as seizures and epilepsy, which is a disease which causes seizures. So first let's see what is a seizure, how is it formed, that means what are the reasons for it happening. So first let's see what is a seizure. Let's take our human brain. Yeah. In this cerebellum as well yeah okay that's better so this is our human brain inside of this thing are things known as nerves these are individual cells wait and use another color for this individual cells which connect it to each other to transfer you know memories and information but sometimes there will be an uncontrollable pulse of the electrical signals inside of the neurons just randomly going without our control at all so this causes a sudden thing known as a seizure which takes place about for two uh, one to two minutes it's pretty short but it can kind of be lethal in some rare cases yes so now let's see what are the main what happens when you get a seizure so there are four main stages so the first stage is the aura stage where you will feel dizzy you will feel numb you don't your behavior is completely weird you don't do the correct facial expressions like when something sad is happening you suddenly start being angry or sad randomly and even happy you know god knows what is happening inside of you and later just a bit while the second stage will begin the tonic you will quickly fall down you will be in a position like this you will be bent like this on the floor and this is a much a bit l- less dangerous than the third stage clonic this is when you start shaking your eyes start rapidly blinking like this and saliva will even start dripping out of your mouth yeah and the last and finally is the post platonic yeah platistic stage so this is the last stage after the main the middle two stages are done which are kind of the most dangerous you will be in a stage where you are aware of what is happening you are conscious this is a non motor stage that means it does not affect your hands or any part of your body but the only thing which happens is you are awake but you feel tired sleepy and you are not exactly in control of your emotions your behavior is weird and this is still not the end of the stroke until the end of the post platistic stage of only after that stage the stroke finally ends yes so these two stages are the only ones where you are conscious while meanwhile these two stages are the only ones where you're not exactly conscious you can't control what is happening inside your body so when you have a stroke that no sorry it's not stroke seizure what happens is you'll feel pain numbness headaches i didn't experience it but i kind of researched about it what happens yes so that is about the seizures ah yes and what are the reasons for this happening so first or tumors in your brain this is a rare reason but still kind of can happen next is a disorder known as epilepsy which we are going to discuss about later so this as a summary is just repeated seizures at random times when your brain is giving too much outputs things like that yes so there are still many more reasons why seizures can occur inside your brain So next is epilepsy. So this is when your nerves are completely disturbed. They don't know what to send and will sometimes randomly cause a seizure. Yes, repeated seizures will happen at random times. This makes it not safe for work when you're working. So people with seizures and epilepsy are kind of not allowed to work because they may have an epilepsy in the job and you know something may happen there not may not be enough care and also i forgot 
we are going to also tell why you can die of a seizure this is not as much as a stroke but still there is a small chance that you can die of these things yes so first is when a seizure is happening you, your heart may just so if you skip one beat that's okay but many beats you are gone this can happen because the sh- the seizure the your movements may interrupt the heart's beating as as well as the same thing can also happen with your breathing so because of the seizures the breathing is also interrupted and if this happens for more than 3 minutes continuously you know you will be not existing in this world of earth yes so some other reasons include you know the brain completely stops working yeah that's sad and also why you may die of the big for reason is because your body will not get enough oxygen and you will all the organs will completely fail and you will die yeah but these cases are very rare mostly people will survive and there's no cure for epilepsy or seizures that means there's kind of but not exactly but there are medications which could kind of make the seizures in epilepsy much more rarer than before but these things don't affect for some types of epilepsy which are based on inputs in one type of epilepsy if you can if you see flashing images and very highly saturated images which are flashing again then you'll get go into a stro- seizure attack yeah that's kind of dangerous for you <laughs> so that's why in many videos in youtube there if there are flashing and br- like flashing lights later in the video there will be like a warning before yeah so yeah this is today about seizures and epilepsy bye